Okay, so we're going to show you how to do a real simple injection and measurement with this training video. So the first thing we're going to do is go over and create a new protocol. We're going to create a fluorescence intensity and we click on new and we're going to click on flash kinetics well mode that allows us to scan and inject very quickly. So I'm going to type this one, flash injection and we're going to choose the plate we're going to be running. In this case, it's a Coach Dark plate. And what we're going to do is choose the injection. So what we want to do is we want maybe uh, 50 intervals. Let's put 50 intervals in there. And we want the interval time to be 0.1 seconds. And what that's going to do when we go to the layout, I'm going to go ahead real quickly and design this layout, is we go to the samples. I'm going to choose five wells for sample wells. And in the concentration section, when we type in the volume for the injection, I'm going to put 100 microliters in there. That allows us to right-click in the volume section here, and it'll insert 100 microliters into each of those wells. We're going to select pump number one for the injector, and we're going to select the pump speed that we want it to inject at. At this point, we click on Check Timing. And let's go ahead and put in the excitation and emission filters as well, of course. This is going to be a fluorescence reaction. So when we click on the check timing button, it'll now tell us the minimum interval time is 10.1 seconds. And the total time for the well is 5 seconds because we're doing 15 readings. So if we look at the injection timing section, we want the injection timing to be either delayed a little bit so I can delay this and have this at a one second um, interval time. So what that means is that when I inject, I'm going to wait one second, I'm going to inject, and then I'm going to read throughout that whole period. So I have a baseline, I have an injection period, and I have the reading after that. So now when I go ahead to that measurement, I'm going to click on Run Measure, and Flash Injection, and I'm going to click on Gain Adjustment, and say gain adjustment. Let's set this at 50% just for this case. And I'm going to click start measure after that gain has been selected. And then we're going to go ahead and measure that window. And the, can, the new uh, window is going to show up to show us the current state of each of those injections. And you can see what's going on here. You can see the baseline in a second. You'll see the baseline, the injection, and then the read. And you can see how things happen real time with each of the data points with this injection. The nice thing about this kinetic window in the current state window is that it shows you exactly what's going on with your injections and can give you that measurement real time. So that's the quick wheeze.